Hey guys and welcome to my another devlog. Game changed a little bit from last one. Now my character model doesn't bug like before. His clothes snaps how they should. I need to work a little more on my animations, especially the walking one. Like you can see on the right side, I have new building. This is gonna be a tavern. Where you can buy items or regen some health. Let's go check it out. I had to rewrite my script to hide the building, cause it was specific for another house, so I've made something that I can use in any building I like. I've changed items a little bit, I had pouches in this video, but these look way better. Color of the bubble will be based on item rarity, now shop items are orange and the other ones are blue. I can buy items by pressing E on keyboard, same button to interact with for example doors. Picking up item or selecting it from slot shows menu with item name and description. Upstairs room isn't functional now, but like I said before, I could use it for some kind of resting place to heal yourself. So let's go back. I have items on the ground for testing. I've made some animations for using items. For now, there are only animations. So, my animations in game works different way than before, cause I split them to head, body, hands and legs, so I can use different animations for legs and different for hands at the same time. If you have too much items in your inventory, you can drop them using Q. And yeah, you can dance using crouch animation. Almost forgot about the chest. Yeah, you can open it and the content will drop on the ground. Two more little things I've added is arrow above player, so you know where you are when you're behind something like house. And the second one are icons on the right side of a hood showing your attack, defense, speed and lag, but they don't work for now. Working on game, I encountered a problem with disk space. Unity was using it too much of it on my C drive, so I made a junction to folder from another drive and figured out that many people can have the same problem. So I'm working on my own junction creator for Windows to make it easier for some users. For now you have two options, create junction just by creating new folder or create junction by copying folder to new location and replacing it by junction. So this video was longer than I expected. If you like, you can join my Discord server, link will be in the description. Thanks for watching.
See ya guys.